Kids are out of school. Most will have the Thanksgiving weekend off a long holiday weekend from work. Uh, family coming into town, friends coming over. How are you going to entertain everyone? That's probably the question you're asking yourself right now. Lucky for you, our Houston community producer has a list with 25 ways to keep you and your loved ones busy. Good morning, Brianna. Good morning. Thank you so much for stopping by. We always love having you on the show. Uh, this is exciting because as we were talking about during break, it is a long weekend for, for, for many people and finding something to do is on our mind. Yes, if you get cabin fever and need to get out of your house, I've got 25 different things that you can do. Um, Love it. From Christmas tree lightings to the Thanksgiving parade um, to holiday light spectaculars. Oh, wow. So something really for everyone and for the entire family. Yes, yes. There are even um, some more adult things to do um, if you want to get out of the house minus the kids. <laughs> right. Get a few minutes away from the kids. Yes. Uh, talk to us about each specific um, outing there is that you put on the list, why yeah. you chose these. So I did a lot of research. I sifted through lots of calendars and event listings. Um, I've even been to some of the events that I chose. Um, so I chose exactly what I mm -hmm. think is a great opportunity that's worthwhile. Um, some of the events that I wanted to focus on was the Houston Parade. Okay, yeah. Um, that's, if that's a Thanksgiving event that you want to go to, like that is the yeah. one. And it's tradition for so many people. What I love about this selection is that, you know, as we know, uh, you know, we're coming a few years now out of pandemic. Uh, the pandemic was a time when this parade did not happen. Then I think it was in 2021. I only remember this because it was my first year here. I was assigned to cover the parade that morning and it was called off at the last second. So this is this is a long standing tradition that many people look forward to. And it's maybe been something that you've missed out on for a few years now. Exactly, and this year the parade is gonna be bigger and better than ever. There are new floats, new balloons, and um, we've got three co-marshals. Oh, you've wow. got Mayor Turner, and then you've got two Houston Rockets icons. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there's a That's lot That's very happening. exciting. You know, as you were talking, I was just thinking of something. I, I had the opportunity to go uh, behind the scenes with HEB. Um, she is an art teacher within HISD, but she leads the floats. Uh, all of the decorations within the floats, and we got to go into that warehouse um, in North Houston. It's north of the Heights, and so maybe that's something we could uh, maybe look to see if we have and maybe show our viewers at nine, because it's, it's pretty amazing to see these floats come together and the work that goes in these floats. It's truly incredible. Oh, yeah, I can't even imagine. Um, just getting to go into the warehouse, that's an incredible opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? I know you talked about some oh, tree yes. lightings. What are some other ideas? Yes, um, so holiday light shows. Yes. Um, Radiant Nature. Okay. Um, that is kind of the must-visit holiday light show of the season. Okay. I can't say enough about how incredible And these are images from is. that? Yes, yes. Wow. So they're giant, super-sized lanterns. Um, you've got Gorgeous. flora, fauna. Um, it's just beautiful, and it's a mile long, so you've got a lot of displays Where to look at. Where is this? This is at the Houston Botanic Garden. My neighbor was just telling me about this last evening. I was out with Sully last night, and she was telling me she went to this, and she said it's amazing. She was talking about the theme changes every year. Um, yes, so this year you've got Lunar New Year. The Lunar New Year. This yes. is the event. This yes. is the event. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, it looks spectacular. Yeah. Uh, wow, look at those lights. I spent about 45 minutes to an hour here, so you can really spend a lot of time. Wow. It's really gorgeous. Just it when you think beautiful. it's going to end, it just keeps going Get, and, and getting going. getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow, those are truly, this is, this is yeah, amazing. Yeah, you've got um, parakeets, armadillos, swans. alligators, swans. Um, every animal you can think of is here. Wow, absolutely stunning. So beautiful. Okay, now tell me all about this miracle pop-up bar. Yes. So is there like more I than said, one? There are. There are three locations. Oh my God! So bars, plural. Yes. Oh, this two is my kind Houston, of outing. <laughs> one in Galveston. Like I said, if you wanted to get away from the kids, yeah. do something Christmassy. Um, oh, look at that drink. That looked really good. Right. So With the cranberries. Mm. They are pop-up bars. They kind of take over local bars, transform them into these incredible holiday dens that are all these kitschy decorations, mm. um, and then they've got these killer cocktails on the menu, served in these incredible like holiday mugs. Yeah, we saw the Santa mug. We saw, I think that's... Uh, this is a koala drink. Wow. Um, 
Yeah, there are like 15 to 20 different cocktails you oh, can choose from. Oh, look at this from. one. This is so great. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Did, did you try any of the drinks? I haven't been there yet, but okay. I'm planning to. Can you I'm keep, planning to go. Sam wants to know, producer Sam wants to know if you can keep the glasses. Do you, are you? So you can buy the glasses. You can buy the glasses. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. I might have to check this out. What, what are the hours on this? Um, so they vary by location. Okay. You can go to clicktohouston.com. Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> this is on our homepage, and you okay. can find the hours for the location that's closest to you. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. And you know, I, I believe, I'm not sure if this still stands true, but once upon a time, this Wednesday evening, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, was the uh, number one night of, uh, for people going out throughout the year. More oh, people wow. go out tonight than any other night within the year. I had no idea. I'm not sure if that's still a stat, but it used to be. Yeah, well, this is a great option for yeah, you. Yeah, it is. A, a lot of fun things to do, a lot of fun things to look forward to. If you're looking for something to do, uh, head on over to our website, clicktohouston.com to check out these events. I also want to talk about your newsletter. Tell yes. us about your newsletter. If people are not uh, familiar with what it is, tell us what it is and how they can subscribe to it. Yes, so I write the things to do no newsletter every week. Um, it's 25 to 30 events. That that are worthwhile, um, very much worth your time. And you can subscribe to it at click to Houston slash newsletters. Awesome, I love that. And this is also an opportunity too for people to engage with us, uh, to talk to you, maybe give you suggestions on, on things happening, right? They, they can interact with you? Yes, yes. Um, you can email me at bzamora at kprc.com. You can find my bio on the website and also email me okay. from there. Awesome. Yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, if you have suggestions, definitely reach out to her. She, yes, she's absolutely please. amazing. And I, and I promise you, a lot of these, um, these events happening, they're not just events that you, they're, they're worthwhile. They really are. They're, they're yes. things that, that you might not know about. Them yes. thoroughly. Yes. Um, I usually sift through some 250 to 300 different events wow. to come up with the 25 to 30. That and it's featured. tough narrowing them down, I'm sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have to research what the past events have looked like. Yeah. Um, it's look at photos, videos. So yeah. yeah. And what I love about it too is it, it you know you get to see something for the entire family as you were talking about like hey you might want to bring you know your children and mom and dad to this event but then this event might be something you leave the kids back home for. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There are several different sections. So you've got uh, for instance this newsletter this week has holiday spectaculars, Christmas tree lightings, um, you've got holiday shows. There are just a lot of different options. Okay. Well, we so much appreciate you coming in. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. I happy hope you enjoy you. your uh, few days off and we will see you next time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Anytime.